draws in their history. The Dockers, one draw in their history. Meek and O'Brien to go at it. Big pack around it. They're all stalking it. Little Ooh. flick out, Keys. Hammer towards goal, a point. And it's all tied up. The tap back in. Could be a game winner. On the line. How clever was that? And the irony of it. A point. After an accurate free medal kick, 11-17. A point wins it. The big steal. The Dockers win the opening game. Don't look at me for comment, won't I? The most extraordinary, captivating drama is going down to the last. Jordan Dawson, in his first showdown, has the game on his boot. There's nothing the coaches can do. It's only one man to cover himself in glory. It's coming back. And he's well aware they've got a man up the Hawks. Countdown to a mighty Carlton roar at the MCG. The Blues are back, baby. Shelley, Taylor Walker is in the frame at half forward. Against the clock, there's 15 seconds to go. The highest ball. It won't go to Himmelberg instead. That's Redmond who can count this down. The Bombers are going to hold on. Marvel Stadium will erupt. A victory for Essendon in season 2022. It took to the very last second, but they've got there. And everyone is feeling what that took to get the four points. Score involvements in this term alone had nine possessions most in the quarter. Liberatore puts his head in the jam. More seconds tick away. Talked about their fitness. The Adelaide Crows kicking against the breeze in this last quarter, having to come from behind. Last roll of the dice now for the Dogs. Can they clear it from here? Walker comes down, trapped. Off the feet of Richards. Tries to get it out somehow. The bond of Pelly to Trelaw. Smith, Waitman, Trelaw. Can he kick it from there? Center and kick. Frampton marks, it's over. They go up. No one can mark. From the spill, blasted away. Went back to a minute. Tex! <laughs> Aren't the Crow fans happy to have him back? Well, to put Texas forward in perspective, I reckon about round eight last year, he was the best forward in the game and in the top three players in the game, headed towards all Australia. Yep. Clearly that didn't happen for him. Sure was. His return has seen him bounce back into exactly the same form. Crouch stumps it down the line. It's a home game of sorts for him. Family have come from Beaufort just down the road. Some sort of win this. Richards. Dogs don't know how long left. Fans are wide to Daniel. Keys running with him. Yet again, put some pressure on. McComb, the debutante, feeds it wide. Shackey looks up and bombs it. They need a mark, they need a goal, they need something miracle. Wise from Bob and Pelly and they get it. Okay, how many seconds left? Seven seconds left for the Miracle. Well, it's a great goal by the Bond, but it is going to need a Miracle to impact on this. Just hasn't worked for them, that long bomb in enough. There's the Bond at ground level, finally uh, getting one through the sticks.
So it comes down to this. One clearance. One chance for the dogs to steal what would be one of the most remarkable wins in AFL, VFL history if they could do it. And seconds tick off yeah, the that's, clock. That's two seconds off the clock with that poor bounce. Been calling for years in terms of that should be a clock reset yeah. for these moments right now. So just five seconds left now. Ball flicked down. Keys has got it. Tries to scramble it away. Right back in, siren sounds. Brilliant win by the... He gets some ball wide. Bouncing ball for Gray. Can he stop it before the boundary line? Can. Normally good here. Gray settles, kicks, minus score. Is that enough? He's been the hero before, Robbie Gray. Now they know nothing but straight up the corridor. And that's where Dougal Howard goes. A high spinning ball. Ryder underneath it, Wines with courage, 50-50 ball to one, well played Ollie Wines, the mark's been paid and Robbie Gray went about six metres I reckon. Robbie Gray will just suck up time here, he knows exactly what he's doing. So the clock continues to tick and that may be the ball game right there. Now being called to play on, he's decided to go short and Port Adelaide they trailed for most of this game. They've come from... Swakowski can't take possession. Mundy can, just tries to hold it up. Swakowski, an important clearance. That might just about do it for Frio. It tracks to the outer side. Walters doesn't want to pick up the footy. Sarong does. Back to Tucker. He's caught by a couple of cats. Siren! Frio are the real deal. They beat the cats at home in an absolute Saturday afternoon classic. Enjoy this Fremantle fans. What a win. What a game. It was a great game of footy. The pressure at the start, the cuts off to a flyer. And Fremantle had to really dig in to get themselves back into a position.